Hi, I'm Jen, and I'm going to show you how to make a watermark in Lightroom 3. There are two ways to do it, and I'm going to show you both ways, so you have a couple different options. So the way to add a watermark in Lightroom is to do it through export. So select the images that you'd like to, to add a watermark to. Go up to File, Export, right-click Export, or use the Export button, whichever you prefer. And the only thing we're really going to worry about in here is this watermarking tab here at the bottom. If you want to add a watermark, you leave this box checked. If you don't, say no, of course. Um, and you can have it add the simple copyright watermark that comes with the program, which I think is a little boring. Or you can edit your own watermark, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So select Edit Watermark. This is going to be the simple copyright watermark that the program comes with. I want mine to be a little different, so I'm just going to have it say Jen Swedeen Photography. And this is going to be under the text watermark style. So we can customize this text a few different ways. The limitations on this is you can, it's all going to be the same font, it's all going to be the same size and style. So you can't customize within the text. But we can, we can customize it a bit, so let's just choose a font that we like. Um, select the style that you want and then choose a color. You can choose any color that you want. I either like to go with white or black and then change the opacity. So today I'm just going to leave it as a simple white. This box allows you to change the shadow. I usually just don't want a shadow with there. It's totally up to you. If you, if you want it to have the shadow effect, then just adjust your offset and your, the opacity of your shadow. Do whatever you want there. You can adjust the radius and everything. I'm just going to go without a shadow today. This is where you adjust the actual watermark. You can turn the opacity down so it's more watermark-like. I turn mine to around 60. And then here you can have it be proportional to whatever size you say to put it to. You can have it just fit and fill the entire thing. Or you can fill up the entire picture, which makes it really gigantic and silly. So I'm just going to have it be proportional, so I'm not going to make it the entire size. And then down here you can change um, the, the tabbing in, you can change how it's inset up and down. Let's put it about there. And this is the best part, you can change where it's anchored into the photo. If you like it right in the center, you can add it in the center. If you like it in the corner, in the middle, whatever you want. I kind of like mine in the corner, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to change the inset so it's lined up in the corner nicely. Um, so that's it. So when you're done and you like this and you want to use it again in the future, you're going to come to custom and then save current settings as a new preset. So let's name this white JSP. Bottom corner. Okay, so we're done now. So the next time when I come in, I'm just going to go to watermark and select any of the watermarks that I've created to date and then just tell it to export and it's going to export them with that watermark in that exact spot on all of them. So your other option is, let's go back into the watermark editor, is to use a graphic watermark and this can be a JPEG or a PNG that you've created in another program such as Photoshop. I like to save it as a PNG that way I can use a, a transparent background and you can see here the one I created was white with a transparent background so this is um, the one that I made here. You have a few less options within the watermark editor, but that's because you have so many options when you create the watermark in the first place. So let's change the size a little bit, and I'm going to move it over to the top corner. And we can also um, rotate it if we want to, depending on what we're making. I'm just going to leave it normal, just like that. And let's change the opacity. I think I want this one nice and dark. I won't be able to change the color because it's the color that's saved as the PNG. We can turn it way down, we can turn it way up. So again, we'll just go in. We can either update the preset if I've edited a custom preset already. So we can just save the changes by saying update preset. Or we can make a completely new preset by saying save current settings as new preset. So let's do that. Let's do custom logo, create, done, and then export. And that's going to export all of those with my nice cute little watermark on the bottom. So there you go. Hope that helps.